back again healthy living with Ms. Renee the barber if you plan on having collard greens for this holiday season make sure you get there early enough to get you a couple bundles if you like the fresh ones okay today I will be cooking the greens in my pressure cooker to save time let me tell you step by step what we can ready to do so before we put the greens in the pressure cooker we're going to prepare the liquid known as the pot liquor okay we're going to prepare the pot liquor right in the pressure cooker we're going to cook that for at least 14 minutes after 14 minutes we will add our cut collard greens into the pressure cooker for 14 minutes it's a total of 28 minutes they come out oh perfect so let's get started. Good. Preparing our greens. Let's go ahead and prepare our pot liquor. To season, we're going to use a smoked turkey tail. And we'll save these for another time. So let's rinse these off. I don't know if you like a little spice. That's what we're looking like. I do like I do like my onions ch uh, chunky. Okay, so we'll put those in there, and we're gonna let that saute for just a little bit now we're going to let it saute we're going to add a little oil olive oil wish you could smell this. Oh my goodness. Okay, so the onions are taped. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add our ingredients and salt. I'm going to give it two shakes. That's it. No more. That's black pepper. Probably a tablespoon of garlic. Splash of vinegar. A little dash of green seasoning. chicken ball now let's get ready to pressure cook this we're going to pressure cook time we set 14 minutes while we are picking and cleaning our greens. After the 14 minutes, we'll put our, our picked and clean greens in and let them cook for another 14 minutes and they will be perfect. Darwin. Again, fold and pick. You ever heard of picking greens? <laughs> yes. We get ready to wash the greens. After we wash the greens, we will prep those greens by cutting out the bulk or the heavy stems. Then we will roll the greens up and slice them, cut them up so they're bite-sized pieces. We're going to fill our tub with water and add some salt and a little vinegar.
Now this this bag I always save because as I chop off my stems, I just put the, the stem in this bag. And I'm gonna put the bag right there. I wanna tell you this side right here is for rinsing. We're gonna rinse the greens off on this sink, this side of the sink. And we are going to uh, let them sit there for a while and let them drain. All right? So that will be that. Make sure that your sinks are clean. All right. All right. So you see my bag here? I'll keep my bag here for, for the stem. And if that's not going to be big enough, if that's not going to be big enough, let's just put it in a jewel bag. I call them jewel bags, but because that's the grocery store in the area, but a plastic grocery bag, okay? Now you're going to need your creative utensils, right? You can do the paring knife or you can do the butcher knife. It doesn't matter which one you do, okay? The main thing is to eliminate as much stem as possible. Now let me show you. So this is the stem, right? This is the main stem. These are okay. The sides, the sides, it's okay. But you want to remove this. I don't care if you use your knife or you just pick it like that. Let me show you. When I finish with that, I put it in my bag, remove my knife, and then I'm going to put it right in there. Drop it right in the sink. Okay? So let's get to it. What I like to do is fold it inward like this. You're going to fold it inward. Not, not, you're not going to fold it where the darker green's on the outside. I like to fold it where the lighter green is in there and pick it like that. And when I get down to so far, I just drop it, toss it in there. All right, again, fold and pick. You ever heard of picking greens? <laughs> yes. Now, if you're going to use your knife, then what you can do wash that off, right? You can place it on your cutting board. Cut it like that. Cut it like that. It don't matter, right? Come out real easy. Either way you want to do it. Either way is fine. Just take that stem out. I prefer to pick. Sometimes I can just run it down like that. Run it straight down. Let me show you that again. You start to pinch right there. You can break that off. Take your two fingers. Pinch it. Wait a minute now. And pinch it and run it straight down. See how that comes? And see how much stem is left? Even when you're picking. You see that? All right, I'm gonna do the rest and then I'm gonna get back with you, okay? Okay, so now all of our greens have been picked. The stem is straight in the bag. We're gonna tie it up, toss it in the garbage. We're gonna toss our water down.
We're going to wash them one more time. Let them dry and drain. They may not all fit in the pressure cooker at the same time. So our next step is we're going to cut our greens. Now remember we've already washed them and prepped them by taking the stems off and now we're getting ready to cut our greens into bite-sized pieces. Now you can layer them up like this. This was probably one way you can do it. You don't have to be perfect. You could, see there's a little one, a big one, I don't know. So. Uh, we just layer them on top, okay, like that, and then we're going to cut them. We're going to roll them up, roll it up just like that. That's a small roll, okay. That was a seed from the jalapeno, and we're just going to slice it right there. Alrighty. I want you guys to be able to see. Watch your fingers. All right. We'll put them in the bowl until the pressure cooker is ready to receive it. Sometimes it doesn't matter. They don't have to be uniform. I take them out. They can be in a big bunch like this. I may take one other leaf, a big leaf, like, let's say this leaf, right? We put that on the bottom, like that. Stuff it, roll it, just like that, and cut it. It doesn't have to be perfect. If it's too thick, um, it's going to be hard to cut through. We take what we have, we put it in our bowl, and we continue to cut. This is what our bowl looks like, just like that. End. All right, so it's ready now to receive our cut greens, and we're going to cook them for 14 minutes. All right, let's look in the pot. Let's look at this pot. Look here. First, we have to move our steam lever, okay, to make sure all the pressure is released before. And it's not going to allow you to open it until all the pressure is released. Remember, it's still on lock. If there's still too much pressure, all the pressure is out. It's gone. Okay, it's gone according to this level. So we're going to unlock it. If it's still too much pressure, it's not going to allow us to unlock it. So let's unlock it. Unlocked. That means all the pressure is gone. Let's see what's in here. Look at all this good, good. Mmm. Look at that. Can you guys see that? Can you guys see that? Let me bring it in a little closer. So, so good. All right, so, all right, so there we got our cut greens. We just take a handful, and put them in. Like I said, it may not take all of these, but because they're greens, they will reduce. We don't want to overload the uh, pressure cooker. Otherwise, it's not going to perform to its maximum. We may be able to get this whole bowl in. And if we do, that's great. 
Now this is not six bundles here. This is about uh, three bundles. The other three bundles are sitting on the side. I'm going to put three bundles in here. Depending on what size pressure cooker you have, you may be able to get six bundles in. But this pressure, this size, I'm not going to overload it. We're going to put our top back on. Right now, it's lined up, unlocked. We're going to lock it. It's locked now. No matter what we do, this top's not going to come off. Now we've got to make sure that this vent is closed. It's closed now. Let's put the timer on. Like I said, we're going to set it for 14 minutes. Alrighty. And we're going to hit start. Alright. Do this, my favorite part, the taste test. Oh yeah, yes. Won't these look nice on your holiday plate? Now, instead of a little piece of cornbread, you just garnish it with uh, some tomato slices. Mm hmm. Let's taste that. Bite-sized pieces. Look at there. Mmm. Ready. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Something about collard greens and tomatoes. Mmm. Good. Oh yeah. Let's try one more. Get a little tomato on there. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Remember I told you about the glisten? Thank you for watching my video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And here's the healthy living. <laughs>